On this episode of Harvest Eating, Chef Keith Snow will be preparing a delicious Asian shrimp salad with a tangy ginger soy dressing. The first thing we need to do is to blanch our asparagus spears. Very simple procedure. We've got boiling water. We're going to add some salt to it. And then I'm going to take a sharp knife and cut off about the top two inches of these nice local asparagus. Drop them into the boiling water and let them sit in the boiling water about two minutes. Once they're cooked, remove them and drop them immediately in an ice water bath. This shocks the asparagus, keeps them vibrant green, and stops the cooking process. And by all means, do not throw these beautiful asparagus away. These can be used to make a cream of asparagus soup. You could cut the bottom part off and you could grill it and toss it in some other kind of salad. Uh, you could put it under a poached egg, so don't throw these away. Get some use out of them. Now we want to quickly marinate and grill our beautiful shrimp. Now these are local shrimp that I bought and what I did to them is simply remove the shells and then use a little paring knife in order to devein them. They were rinsed under running water. That's how they got to this point. Now to make the quick marinade, the first step is mincing up some fresh cilantro. And now we're going to dump this right on top of the shrimp. Next we're going to add our Harvest Eating seafood seasoning. If you're interested in this, it is in the Harvest Eating store on the website. Now we want to add a little bit of salt. Now we want to add some fresh lime juice. Little tip for you, when you want to get a lot of juice, roll it on the board and buy ugly limes. You don't want those super pretty ones. Try to find ones that are round, a little bit ugly, and roll them. And now we want to slice them in half with our chef's knife. And then squeeze the lime juice right on top of the shrimp. Now just toss it up. Then we need to add our olive oil. Mix that through. Okay, now we want to grill these, but before we do that, we're going to pop our vent hood on, and I suggest you do the same. And then right down in a very hot grill pan, or you could do this outside over charcoal. It's been about three or four minutes now, and I can start to see that I'm getting some nice grill marks, and that's what I want. So we're going to flip them over. Now that our shrimp are beautifully cooked, it's time to make the salad component of this dish. What I need to do is chop up my vegetables. I've got some really nice green leaf lettuce, some Napa cabbage, I've got an English cucumber, two colors of local bell peppers, I have some gorgeous clover sprouts, and then I have the asparagus that we blanched earlier, some fresh cilantro. Going to get it all cut up and into this bowl. Our salad is all chopped up and ready to go. Last step, make your own Asian vinaigrette. Now don't go and buy it, make it just like this. Very simple, here we go. Fresh ginger, good quality mustard, our soy sauce, sesame oil, fresh cracked black pepper, rice wine vinegar. Now we want to whisk in our extra virgin olive oil. So we'll take the whisk, we'll get this mixed together and slowly drizzle it in. That will form the vinaigrette. Okay, now we want to toss the salad with our vinaigrette. Pour it right over, save a little bit for the top. Now we're ready to plate this thing up. Let's get this whisk out of here. Here is my serving plate. And this is going to be family style. Now what I want to do is take some of these lovely shrimp, and we're just going to put these right around the outside of our plate. Then the last step, take a little bit of our reserved Asian vinaigrette and just drizzle that right on the shrimp. 
Okay, there it is. A little variation on this would be adding some fried wontons to that to give it a little more crunch. Either way, this is an awesome salad with local shrimp. I love it. And remember to check out HarvestEating.com to find these recipes and hundreds more. Also, like us on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Harvest Eating. Follow me on Twitter at Chef Keith Snow and watch our programming on Roku and YouTube.